Hi everyone, in this video we'll discuss how to flatten a multi-level doubly linked list. So we are given a doubly linked list where each node has three pointers, next pointer, previous pointer and an additional child pointer. So this child pointer will point to a separate doubly linked list on the next level. So we are given the head of the first level of the list, we need to flatten it so that all the nodes appear in a single level doubly linked list. Let's see an example. So here A is the head of the linked list. We can see that each node has three pointers. So this is the next pointer. This is the previous pointer. And this down arrow is the child pointer. So for some nodes this child pointer is null. Whereas for nodes C, G, J, and L, we have a valid child pointer. So this child pointer points to the next level of this doubly linked list. So we are given this list and we need to flatten it so that all the nodes appear in a single level linked list. If we see the output of this example, it will be something like this. So we start the traversal from head of the linked list. So we go from A to B to C. Then at C we see there is a child node. So we process all the childs of C. So we have G and K. Once we process all these child nodes, we go back to G and process all the next nodes. So we have H, I and J. Then at J again we have child nodes. So we go down to the child nodes and we process L and O. Once we are done with L and O, we come to the next of L which is M and N. Once we are done with N, we go back and we process the remaining nodes of C which are D, E and F. So the resultant list that we obtain is a doubly linked list which has no child nodes. So there is only one level in the resultant linked list. Let's have a look at the recursive method to flatten the multi-level doubly linked list. So if we consider this example, at C we have a next level. So we can break this linked list into two parts. So it can be thought of as C is pointing to a linked list L1 and child of C is another linked list L2. So if we need to flatten this linked list, first we need to flatten L2 and L1. So to do that, we'll keep track of four pointers. So the four pointers are child node, next node, child last and next last. So child node and next node are the immediate nodes of a node. Child last is the last node of the child and next last is the last node of the next node. So if we take this example C, so for C the child node is G, next node is D, child last. So to find child last we need to flatten this entire linked list which is L2. So if we flatten this linked list, the node which will be last, that will be the child last. And the next last is the last node of the next node. So for C the child last is N and the next last is F. Because if we flatten this linked list L2, this will become the last node. And if we flatten this linked list DEF, F will be the last node. So for C, next node is D, child last is N and next last is F. Similarly, if we do for G, so for G the two linked lists are, one is this K and the other one is this entire linked list which is rooted at H. So for node G, child node is K, next node is H, child last is K and the next last is N because we need to flatten this entire linked list. If we go to J, so for J there is no next node but there is one child linked list. So for J, child node is L, next node is null, child last is N and next last is null. 
for the terminal nodes like k o f and n all the nodes are null so like this we'll find the four pointers for all the nodes so once we have these four values for all the nodes then we can simply join the link list so let's say for a node we have found all the four values then it is a matter of just this six lines so if the node has a child last so let's say for node c the child last value is n so what we are doing is we are connecting c next to child of c so child of c is g so we are connecting c to g and then we are making g next to c and after this the node points to child last which is n and if next last is not equal to null so next so next last is f so now the node is n so we are connecting n next to next node which is d d previous becomes n and now the node comes at next last which is f so what we have done is we have connected next of c to the first node of this link list which is the child node so we have done node next is equal to child node and child node previous equal to node so here we have connected this link from c to g and g to c so because we are using recursive so we will be doing bottom up so that is based on the assumption that this entire link list is already flattened so because this is already flattened so we can simply go to the child last node so the last node of this link list is node n so therefore we made node equal to child last now once we are at the last node of this link list then we need to connect this link list which is def so how we are doing it is we are checking if next last is not equal to null so next last is f so if that is not equal to null we are connecting node next to next node because we have changed node to n so we so we are connecting n with d so we are making n next equal to d and d previous equal to n and then we come to the last node of this link list so l1 and we are setting node equal to next last so this is the approach that we are taking here so we'll start from the head of the link list and we'll keep traversing until we come across a node which has a child once we come across a node which has a child then we'll recursively try to flatten that link list so if i draw the recursion tree diagram for this so first we'll call the flatten function for node a so for a we know the child node is null and the next node is b now we need to calculate the child last and the next last so first we need to go to the child node which is null so when the node is null we'll, we can simply return from here so now we need to compute the next last so to compute next last we need to call the flatten function for b so from f of a we'll call f of b similarly when we come at b we need to call this next last for flatten c then we'll call flatten c once we are at c we know the child node is g and the next node is d then we need to call the flatten function for the child node so from f of c we'll call f of g when we come to g we'll again call this function for f of k because that is the child node once we come across k so at k all the nodes are null so the next node is null child node is null child last is also null and the next last is also null so we'll return back from k and we'll go to g and at g we'll call this flatten function for the next node which is h so from g we'll call f of h from h we'll call for i from i we'll call for j so the child of j is l next is null so now we need to go to the child for j we need to call the flatten function so from j we'll call for l and o at o all the nodes are null because it has no child and no next node so we'll go back to l and we'll call for m and n so at l we'll call for m and n at n all the nodes are null so once all the nodes are null we'll go back to m so whenever we are returning from the nodes you can see that we are doing a return node so whenever we doing a return node we are basically calculating the values of this child last and next last 
so from n when we return we'll return the value n so at m we know that the next last is n so here you can see we have calculated the value of next last because this value was returned from node n similarly when we return back from m we'll update the value at l so the next last at l is m and the child last at l is o because we have returned from this o so by recursively going up at each node we'll have all the four values calculated and if at any node we come across that child last and next last is not equal to null we'll go into this if statements and we'll update the links so because we are flatting the link list so for each node the child should be null because it is of one level so here you can see i've done node child equal to null because child node we have already saved here so for all of the nodes the child will be set to null so we can simply do node child equal to null and when any node has a child last and a next last calculated then we can update the pointers using these three statements let's find out how we do it at j so at j we have these four values l null n and null so the child node at j is l next is null child last is n and next last is null so the child last is n so what we are doing is we are setting j next to child node which is l and and l previous equal to j and then node value becomes child last which is n and next last of j is null so this if condition is false so here what we have done is we have connected j to l and l to j so like in all recursive functions we since we go from bottom up so the bottom portion is already solved so in this portion we had the link list which was already solved as l o m and n so this portion was already solved so what we have done is we have connected j to l and we have set node to n so this will return n to the caller so at i you can see that the next last is n it is because we have returned that value from node j so like this by calculating all the four values for each node we can connect and flatten the multi level doubly linked list so once we've understood the algorithm let's have a look at the implementation all the source code that i'll be showing is available in my github repository link of which is present here and as well as in the description now let's have a look at the code so in the main function first i create the linked list so you can see here in this create list function i have created the different levels so the linked list is something like this so at the first level we have nodes from a to f at second we have nodes from g to j then k is a child of g and l m n and o are child of j so once the linked list is created i call this function flatten recursive and i pass it the head of the linked list so in this flatten recursive function i first save the pointer to the head of the linked list it is because the flatten linked list will have the same head as the original linked list so i save a pointer to it and i return it and in between i call the flatten function so in this flatten function so i find the four pointers the child node next node child last and next last so to compute the child last i call the flatten function with the child node and to find the next last i call the flatten function with the next node so these function would be called recursively and for each node i'll have all these four values now for the flatten link list there will be no child so while traversing i'll set the child pointer for all the nodes to be null then for each node i'll check whether there is a valid child last if the child last is not equal to null i'll connect the pointers from node to child node and then i move the node to the child last similarly if there is a next last i'll connect the pointer from node to next node and i move the pointer to next last so in this manner the function will traverse the entire linked list and will flatten it now let's see the output of this program so the flattened version of this linked list is a b c g k h i j l o m n d e f 
So this problem is also available on lead code as question number 430 flat and a multi-level doubly linked list. I have pasted the same code here and it is success. So in this video we saw how to solve this problem recursively. So if you want to understand how to solve this problem using iterative method, you can refer to the video in the top right corner. So there I have explained this problem using stack. So that was all for this video. If you have any doubts or suggestions, please leave in the comment section below. If you like my content, please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. It, re it really motivates me to make more such content. And until next time, this is Sandeep Thapar signing off.